She just took a DNA test. Turns out she's 100% that Grinch. We just made these two Grinch hand door wreaths and we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? A great, that's what we do on this channel every week. This week, we're making a Grinch hand wreath thing. You know, where he's holding that ball. You've seen it on Pinterest, you know what I'm talking about. We're gonna use two methods. I'm gonna use a CNC machine, which is a computer navigated cutting, or a computer numerical coordinates. <laughs> Something like that. And I'm just gonna use our Cricut, Cricut maker. Step one! We're gonna gather all of our materials. <laughs> I got a two foot by two foot MDF board. I'm gonna go cut out on the CNC machine. Computer navigated control. I looked it up. I got some paints, a little feather boa, that's my secret. And I'm going to use a wood round. So I'm actually going to use chipboard and I'm going to cut mine out on the Cricut. But mine won't be able to stand on its own, it's not quite that thick. So I'm going to mount it to this wood round after it's cut. And then I'm going to use the same SVG file that I used for the chipboard and I'm going to cut out vinyl to cover the chipboard. So. Mine's going to look just as good, if not better, than Garrett's. Oh. <laughs> wow. Okay. Really, we're just trying to give you two options. Not everyone has a CNC machine. A lot of you have a Cricut cutting machine. So we thought we'd show you two options. A big option and a little option. Well, it's going to look big and bold on the door. Ooh, yeah, oh. it's going to look good. <laughs> They'll both look good. They're both going to look great. Step two, we're gonna make all of our cuts. I'm gonna go down and cut this out on the CNC. And I'm gonna cut out my chipboard on the Cricut. And, and your vinyl. Oh, and my vinyl. And her vinyl. On the Cricut. On the Cricut. <laughs> on, on the Cricut. The cricket. <laughs> wow, babe. <laughs> I'm, I'm embarrassed for me. I never like. I never like. I never like. Step three. Now we're gonna paint. I got my design all cut out. I even scored the edge. I created an SVG that I cut out so I could score all the edge. I stole an image, created an SVG, and then cut it on the CNC. That's a whole lot of acronyms. <laughs> all right, and I used the heavy chipboard, but chipboard, this heavy chipboard only comes in 11 by 11 size. So I wanted mine to be, this I think is 12 inches tall and 10 and a half inches wide. So I did a little slice on my image. <laughs> I know yours looks giant, but mine's gonna look really cool at the end. So I did a little slice and I could piece them together. So I've done that with the hand and I've also cut out all of the vinyl pieces that'll go on top of the chipboard. So I'm gonna paint all my colors. I'm gonna paint my reds my white and my green. And then I'm gonna come in and put the black in that little carve out, little channel that I made. And for mine, I don't have to paint my design, but I do have to paint my board, so I'll start with that. I'm using all chalk paint as much as I can because it dries way faster. So I am using some acrylic. I'm using this mint green. This is the best He's shaking it green. While he's up. <laughs> it's the best Grinch green ever. <laughs> Step 
step four. Now that little trench that I cut out, we're gonna go ahead and uh, put a little black paint all the way around it in the in the black trench. I'm gonna get trench. a finger in the eye. It's gonna happen. <laughs> you're, you're, you're gonna get a finger in the eye. All right, and while he's doing that, I'm gonna add the vinyl to my chipboard. All right, I have my vinyl on. Let me put those together for you. Now see? Oh wow, that looks good. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, that was faster. Huh. <laughs> that looks pretty good. That looks really good. I'm surprised. <laughs> mm. hmm. I hope mine looks as good now. <laughs> After all that smacked out. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm ready to put my hand, attach my hand to my board but I'm not exactly sure how to attach it. I don't want to use the Gorilla Glue this time because I don't want it to swell up like with the wood. So I have a choice of E6000 or Goop 2 and I don't know which one. They both say that they're washer dryer safe. That's weird. Yeah, so it shows it's kind of a craft but the Goop is definitely, I don't know, I think it's more industrial. I'll try the goop. Step five. Now we're gonna add our saying stencils on our balls. Christmas balls. <laughs> What I got so far. And me. Whoops. Step six. And now we add the accents. I got this uh, little craft boa. It's for the project, not for me. <laughs> we'll see what's left over. And we don't know. Let it sit. Da -ah -ah. Not a big piece of finger. All right. Now just let it sit. All right. It'll harden. On to the bow. Let's go to the bow. Let's go to the bow. Let's go to the bow. Okay, so we're going to cut three of each color of ribbon. I have four different types of ribbon, and I'm going to cut three strips at 24 inches. And before we do this, I think you need to um, dovetail the ends, yeah. which is just fold them in half and cut it on an angle. All right, do I alternate colors or something? What am I yes, doing? yes. So you want to alternate colors. You want to fold it in half. Yeah. Gotcha. Measure it at five inches. I'll put these back. Alright. So you can use your hands to hold it, but the using this Bodabra is a lot easier. Five inches. Uh-huh. For the loop. You want the loop at five inches. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And just pinch it together. Uh-huh. 
And so you've got to take the back tail yeah. and flip it around forward so that they all face the right direction. Uh, okay. I'll put it in here first. Mm, oh no. And then I flip it on. I don't know if that'll work. Like that? Yep. Instead of folding it, try pinching it next time. So what you do is, the wire should have gone in first, but that's okay. You're gonna fold your wire in half, it's 24 inches, fold it in half, and put the tails through the loop. See that? Yep. Pull the whole thing out. And just twist, yeah. Now you have to fluff your bow. So you like pull one down, one up. I just added a quick little hook to the top of mine that's going to hook on one of my bow loops. Boom, and I hang it. <laughs> and I added these little D-rings, that's what they're called, and I added some uh, hanging wire. This is actually clear. It says it's virtually undetectable. Ooh, invisible. So you probably can't even see it from there. <laughs> it's like thick fishing line. What do you think? Leave us a comment down below. Tell us which one you enjoy the most. What are you doing? It's this one. <laughs> and if you like this video, hit that like button. If you're not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell because we do this every week. And until next week, maybe you should check out one of the videos over here. Right next to Kim. <laughs> one of the two. Either are great. And we'll see you guys next week.